Welcome back to Tarot by the Bay. I'm David. Okay, let's take a break from some of the politics and let's get into different types of politics. Um, Melinda French Gates um, recently left uh, the Gates Foundation. Uh, she received $12.5 billion from the Gates Foundation for her work upon a resignation. And she hinted she would focus her philanthropic efforts on women and girls, but did not offer specifics. Uh, this was at the time she left on um, uh, when she announced her leaving on June 7th. Uh, she's now given details of her plan. <clears throat> she is planning on donating $1 billion through 2026. I guess Nico decided that he needs to be a part of the uh, Melinda Gates uh, donation for black cats. Because apparently black cats need lots of donations. Okay. Mm. Assuming that black cats really don't need donation. Um, what does she plan on doing with it? Um, she plans on giving uh, grants um, to advance women's rights around the world, including $200 million in grants to organizations that are fighting for women's reproductive rights. Um, uh, she's also giving money to the Institute of Women's Policy Research to uh, decrease uh, the uh, gender pay gap. Um, She's giving a quarter of a billion dollars in awards to organizations wor working to improve women's health. She was commenting how she already does this, the women's health things, with um, countries outside the United States, but with um, with uh, the Supreme Court overturning Roe v. Wade, amongst other things, she's decided to go ahead and focus. I've got hair hanging on my eye here somewhere. She's going to focus on the U.S. as well because the, now the U.S. has some problems. So she's using her philanthropic efforts to help women in the U.S. And it's just another example of the divine feminine uh, taking form, in this case, of uh, Melinda Gates here. So I want to throw cards on that, but I seem to have a black cat in the way of such things. So I'm going to pause this just for a moment. I will put the black cat on a chair over here and I'll move the chair over so that you can at least see him and he'll feel like he's part of the reading. Hang on for a second. Okay, we are back. Chair is in place. Cat is in place. <laughs> Go ahead, blow up your screen, focus on the cat. Let's see if I can get the the uh, the light thing to to shine on the cat here. There. <laughs> Getting your cat fixed. Oh, aren't you just being adorable? Here, come on over a little bit more. Okay. So, <laughs> nobody will be hearing me talk for the next 10, 15 minutes about the wonders of Melinda Gates. You'll <laughs> focus on the ham over here in the form of a cat. Okay, but Spirit, let's give you a general energy around um, uh, Melinda French Gates and what's going on with her um, with her phil philanthropic efforts. Entertainment purposes only. Let's see what we got going on here. Keep it up just a little bit. What do you think of that first card? <laughs> it's the Page of Pentacles. Here we go. Get messaging about money. If this is the plans of her donating the money and where it's going to go. So, you know, you give these uh, agencies a heads up that the money is coming and that will allow them time to strategize what they're going to do with this windfall of cash. And it will be a, a huge windfall of cash um, for many of them. And that'll probably allow them to expand their programs to maybe give give their workers a cost of living adjustment, they probably you know nonprofits are going to oh you're not going to stick around. People want you to stick around. You know nonprofits tend to run lean. Maybe they can spend a little money on their uh, on the the people doing the work there. Um, expand their guys extend expand their programs, but maybe even consider taking a much larger strategic thing going on. And taking their programs to the next level. Speaking of the next level, the cats decided that 
<laughs> that level didn't do it for him. No, leave my bracelets alone, <laughs> turd. <laughs> In the past, you get to be a mat. <laughs> you don't get to eat my ring, my bracelets. Uh, the past, we've got the Eight of Cups. Uh, the walking away. I think this is the walking away from the, the Gates Foundation. It could very well be that the mandate with the Gates Foundation. Here, you come here. You're being a turd. Oh, you can sit on my lap. How about that? It could be that with the Gates Foundation that she was restricted in what she could do, who she could donate money to, and how much. Uh, I've been to um, the Gates Foundation in Seattle. Uh when Michelle and I first started dating, we took a trip up to, uh, up to the, no, you stay right there. We took a trip up to Seattle and her family, she has family up in that area. And you know, we went to Pike's Market and stuff like that. But one of the places I wanted to see was the Gates Foundation. I wanted to see what a philanthropic foundation looks like. What, what do they do with their money and all the things that they do with it. No, on that off chance that one day I'm a gazillionaire and I could do something really cool like that. I mean, how fun would that be? How fun would it be to have a ridiculous amount of money and then you get to spend it however you want helping people and causes that you want to help? That sounds amazing to me. Okay. Mm, come on down. Um, the current situation is the justice card. It's a social justice here. Plain and simple. With the Supreme Court abandoning uh, women's rights and women's health rights and uh, the Dobbs decision and such, she is like, she's found a new calling and she's going to, she's going to put her money where her mouth is and she is going to help. God bless her on that one. Overarching energy is the King of Cups. It's that compassion. You know, it's, it's not the Queen of Cups, but it's the King of Cups. It's a very mature compassion that she has for, um, for, for women and for people around the world. Now, granted, uh, these things will help uh, women's, um, you know, women's health, women's rights. But if you're helping women's rights, you're helping everybody's rights. It's not just women that benefit from this. Everybody benefits from this. Now, there might be some guys out there that are like, I don't benefit from this, but, you know, professional victims 101 here. Yeah, you do. You may not be clever enough to figure out how you're benefiting from it, but trust me, you will be. Um, oh, I don't have a cross card here. Oh, I forgot to do a cross. What do you know? Okay. Yeah. I guess this was the cross card here. <laughs> anyway, well, I've, I've called it like it is. We just won't have a cross in here. Um, the lesson to be learned is the, the two of wands. It's about planning. And she's been helping around the world. Outside the U.S. she's been helping, but now she's helping within the U.S. And the outcome is the king of swords. She's going to be, oh God, and underneath is the star card. She is going to be an absolute force for change. She is a force to deal with and by donating this money to these women's causes, she's going to make them be a force to deal with. And I do mean in a legal way, too. I think there's going to be a lot of legal challenges going on. I mean, the folks against women's rights, they seem to have a lot of money to, to buy off congressmen. Well, now these women groups have a lot of money to buy off congressmen, too. I wish I wouldn't sound so cynical when I say that, but... <sighs> And again, underneath it all is the star card. This is a, a, a moment for Melinda Gates. This Melinda French Gates. This is this is her this is her jam. It's kind of like what her whole life is building up to this. Um, I was listening to um, I think it was Next Level Soul podcast today, and uh, they were talking about taking negative energy and loving it and turning it into positive energy. And that's pretty much what uh, Melinda Gates is doing. Um, let me lower the brightness down here just a little bit. Um, in as much as the Dobbs decision, everything that's been happening from the Supreme Court with regards to women's rights, LGBTQ rights, uh, Muslim rights, all these things were just getting pummeled here. And how, and this gives her an opportunity 
to, to pummel back, to take the money that she, uh, she and Bill Gates have earned and um, put it back into society in a positive manner. Um, you know, much in the same way that, why does this channel even exist? This channel exists because this the anxiety that Donald Trump has caused the collective. I watched tarot readers for years, all the same ones you watch. I don't get to watch them as much anymore because while well, I spend three hours a day or more on, on my channels and I don't have the time to watch uh, the other ones, but I watch them to help me cope. And um, the fact that Trump's still out there causing problems is one of the reasons I'm here now. It's to help you cope. I you know, I got lifted up by uh, Lena and Marianne and Linda G and um, um, the Empress, God, I'm going to start, uh, you know, Dave Johnson, uh, uh, Melissa the Free Range Psychic. Who am I forgetting here? I know I'm forgetting some some big names here. Um, <laughs> again, some of the big, uh, Mel, uh, uh, Kevin, uh, Johnny from Tarot's Apprentice. There's a big one. I don't want to miss that on that one. Amongst others, they all helped me out. And now it's my turn to help you out. Uh, bringing something a little bit different, some snark, a lot of humor, and an identical twin on occasion. Um, but without Trump, you know, I may not have done this. I may not have felt compelled to do this. So it's taking that anger, that frustration, that feeling of helplessness and channeling it into something uh, positive. Okay. So um, that's what she's doing with this. Uh, what are the next steps for uh, Melinda Gates? Or how will her work turn out? Just sort of give us a little bit of a, a peek into the future for Melinda Gates here. And I, forgive me, if I say Melinda Gates and not saying Melinda French Gates. It's overcoming uh, years and years and years of uh, practice here of what her name is. Four of Cups. It's deciding who to give the money to. Now, I know she has a team that helps her on this one, but this is going to be her... Um, giving the money to deserving organizations, but it's not, it, it's, I don't think it's going to be one time gifts. It's going to be recurring because if you make it recurring, you allow these groups to grow. They can grow their roots deep and then spread out like the tree this person's sitting underneath. Um, <clears throat> women's health and, and uh, the well, health and well being of women is, is paramount in this. Tearing down old energies, tearing down, you know, watching how the Supreme Court has torn, uh, torn down women's rights in the United States, watching women's rights being torn down around the world. She's pushing back. She has the ability and the, the, uh, to do this. She has the means to do this, and she's going to do it. And if people get in her way... She's gonna blow them up too. It's, you're now you're now starting to fight fire with fire, and for the longest time, these lobbyists. I, I think this article was talking about that. The women, uh, the women's groups in this one typically are fighting um, an uphill battle. They fight a defensive battle while all these lobbyists fight an offensive battle. This financing will allow women's rights to go on the offensive. Give these guys a taste of their own medicine. Watch them whine, <laughs> um, as well as the nine of the nine of wands. This is kind of like you know, women have been beaten up, and now it's their it, now it's their turn at, with the stick. And I'm not saying they're going to beat a bunch of guys up, but I am saying that their turn of being on the defensive and being battered and bruised that's over. We've got opportunities here. We don't. This is like women saying we don't have to take this anymore. We don't have to take this sitting down. We can tear it down. We've got, we are now empowered. We don't have to be on the offensive. We can be on the offensive. All we need to do is strategize what we're going to do with this, with these grants and how we're going to move forward with it. So after <laughs> weeks and weeks and weeks of Trump drama, it's kind of nice to do a reading that's a bit more positive and uplifting. Does my soul some good? I hope it did your soul some good too. Thank you very much for watching this video and supporting my channel. I'll catch you on the next video. Take care. Oh, and Nico says...
What? I was just biting myself. You anything you want to say to the audience before we go? Huh? Let them see your eyes. There you go. All right. Thank you again for this Le Chat Noir video. Or is it Le Cot? Anyways, I'll talk to you later. Bye. <laughs>